Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are going to explore the world of dual baselines, two baselines, maybe call and response baselines, whichever way, I'm not sure how you kind of put it, but it's a kind of a little technique that I heard in a track and I thought, hey, let's give it a go. And today we're going to do it on the Melbourne Instruments Delia, and it sounds like this. So I've already written the bass lines because obviously that can take a little bit of time. But what we're going to do is effectively we're going to have two bass lines. One is going to be doing the heavy lifting and that's going to be more the subby bass line. And then we're going to have another one that's going to kind of be the accent. Uh, and it, it's kind of a call and response, but at times they both are playing the same note, maybe a different sort of timbre. And it kind of, you can kind of get some really good effects with it without sort of overloading. And then maybe if you have a bass line that's kind of walking a lot, um, you can still kind of keep that weight from the subby bass line. So, so you all heard the demo at the start. Let's show you what we've got going on and we can go from there. So I've split the bass line into two. We have this one, which is, you can see there's a little bit more information going on. And this is going to be the subby bass line. This is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting to go along with the rest of the track and keep that low end sort of a lot going on there. And then if we click over to the next one, and if you want to, I mean, I kind of copied the, the synth line from the track that inspired this. But if you want to just copy these, I'll leave it up there for a second. And then for the line that is like the accent line, we have a lot less going on. So you can see it's still in the same octave range, maybe a little bit higher, but it's providing the little bit of accents to kind of add a little bit more interest into your track. Now we can close this up. And I also have some drums. So really really simple sort of drum line so first up let's have a look at creating the the sub bass line and then we can have a look at the accent line after that so let's start off by loading the initialized patch and push load and that gives us this very generic just one sawtooth and then that's it so push load again first up we want to go to patch and then we're going to go to poly mode and we'll go mono legato so now so it's only going to play one note at a time so we can go exit there we can push play again now we're going to start with the oscillator section we can pull that down into the triangle zone a uh, triangle zone triangle waveform and we're going to keep the keep it at um, full volume. Now we can come across to the filter. Now we're going to just pull this filter all the way down to zero. So now you can, you won't be able to hear anything. And then as we keep going across, we go to the envelope generator. We're looking at the VCA here now. So let's go to VCF. We need to increase this. So then this envelope is then affecting this filter. So go to full and then let's pull the sustain down because we want it a little bit more plucky let's get that release up a little bit go back to the VCA let's pull that release up there get that sustain up a little bit and then we can just open that filter a little bit and then one thing that I really like about the, the filter has this nice drive section. So let's, this is where it's kind of taking away. This is neutral. And then as soon as I go past, 
you can hear the, the noise starting there because we want that pretty low there. So let's go to oscillator two. We got a little saw wave there. Let's and then let's go coarse and down. Mm, nah, we'll keep it as is. We just want a little bit, so if we just adds a little bit more in the harmonics. So let's pull that filter down again. And we are pretty much good to go there. So let's record that in. So now I've recorded that in and we can just hear it with the music. So it's, nothing's coming from the synth. So what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of EQ on there, tighten it up a little bit. And just take out a little bit of the mid there. And then what we can do is also put on a little compressor. Turn these off. Not so much for it to give room for the kick. I just wanted to give a little bit more push and pull sort of thing. So we're gonna go minus three there. Sounds pretty good. Now we're gonna look at the, the accent baseline. And this is where the majority of the heavy lifting comes. So let's go load initialize patch and then I find it's best with the with the um, like the accent baseline if you can have it so the filter when you open and close the filter it gives a lot of like musical elements to the patch so let's just get in and we'll create the patch and then we can go from there so So I want to go patch, unison voices, we want to go to six. And it kind of gives us that metallic-y sound because we don't have any detune. If we were to go into detune, you can hear it, it's, when, it, when I detune it, it's like widening it out a lot, but I want to just kind of lay it and I do want that sort of chorusy sound you get by just having all the voices stacked on top of each other. So we've got a basic sort of sound. We can then also look at the second oscillator. We're going to go down to the triangle. We'll go coarse. And we just bring the second oscillator down a little bit. Let's go across to the filter. Again, we're going to go to the VCF. Now we're getting that nice sort of plucky sound. Bring up that release, go to the VCA, bring up the release. Go, I just pulled down the cutoff there a little bit and then we can bring up the level a bit more. So more of this envelope is gonna affect this filter. Now, again, we're going to use some drive in there. Just pulling down the volume a little bit. I think that's pretty good. And because this isn't a subby baseline that we kind of need front and center, I'm just going to add a little bit of chorus to it. So now when we play it with the rest of the, the drums and the other bass line. Just doing a little mix 
on the elements. Add a little bit more release on there. And as I was saying before, you can add a, a, a lot with that filter, so. You go really down low. You might have a section like that. Look at the EQ a little bit. Maybe pull down the EQ on that. both sort of matching up on those last three notes. It kind of adds a little bit more sort of cohesiveness between the two lines. For today it was nice and quick but I just wanted to show how you can use two synth lines together and kind of tie it in with the the turnarounds and also by using one synth in two ways where you can use one as like the sub sort of line and then one as more of the accent line kind of providing a little bit of ear candy for the listener as it goes through the track especially if you're making dance music that can be a little bit loopy or a little bit repetitive Hopefully this can kind of add a little bit more interest to your track overall. So that's about it. And hopefully you've got something out of this video, but at the end of the day, hopefully this has inspired you to create something. Until next time, see you later.